So let's see if you have the algebra skills to solve this problem. And what is this problem? Well, this is a three variable linear system. And a lot of people are not going to be able to get this right because they haven't mastered how to solve a two variable linear system. Now, this type of problem is typically seen in courses like Algebra 2, College Algebra, uh, Pre-Calculus, uh, basically second year algebra courses and beyond. So if you are studying maybe first year algebra or uh, pre-algebra, you may very well not have seen a problem like this yet. But stick with me anyways, because if you can solve a two variable uh, linear system, then you will be able to understand what I'm going to be doing here. I have a lot to cover. So if you want to give this problem a try, that would be fantastic. Matter of fact, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section that I'm going to explain exactly how to solve a three variable linear system. This is very, very critical, especially for those of you that are in uh, more advanced mathematics. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need assistance in learning mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, let's go ahead and get into it. I have a lot to cover, and I'm just going to state right up front. If you do not know how to solve a two variable uh, linear system, then this problem is going to you know, be confusing. Now, if you do know how to solve a two variable linear system, then I think you'll be able to understand. Now, uh, for those of you that are at this level of math, I'm gonna direct you towards, if you really need help with this, and this is um, a big topic, check out my full pre-calculus course. I'm gonna leave a link to it in the description. That's where you need to get my full instruction. I get into you know all advanced math at a very deep level. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the problem. All right, so what is the objective here? Well, we have three variables, x, y, and z, and notice we have three equations. So anytime that we're dealing with systems, uh, how many variables that we're looking to solve for, that's how many equations we have to have. In other words, if I had uh, these two equations only, but three variables and only two equations, I couldn't uh, find the specific actual values. I could kind of, I can express, uh, you know, the variables here or what they're equal to in general terms, but I can't uh, find the actual value. So just remember, uh, if you're uh, looking to solve for three variables, you're going to need to have three unique equations. All right, so we do have these three uh, uh, equations, I'm sorry, three um, equations for three variables. All right, so this is what we have. So what is the strategy? Okay, so the strategy here is going to be the following. Matter of fact, let me show you here, explain it to you, then I'll get into the work. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is take this three variable system and we're going to uh, kind of uh, uh, eliminate one of the variables so we have a two variable system. Now again, uh, for those of you that are algebra one students, first year algebra, or even pre-algebra, uh, you should know how to solve a two variable system. We're talking about basic substitution, and, substitution method, uh, linear combination or elimination method. So what we're gonna do is we're going to use those same techniques, especially techniques, well, you could use either substitution or elimination, but we're going to basically take uh, all these equations and we're going to uh, manipulate the equation such that we end up with um, a two variable system. And how do we do that? Well, we're going to eliminate one variable algebraically. So let's go ahead and see what I'm talking about. So here, we're gonna pick two equations, okay, out of the three, and we're gonna pick, uh, we're gonna do this twice. And the objective here is we're going to pick, again, we're gonna pick two equations, and you're going to eliminate one variable. Okay, so I'm gonna pick these equations right here, x plus y, a uh, matter of fact, I'll just show you right here. I'm going to be, I'm going to pick the first two. Now, again, there's all different ways you can do this. You can pick other equations and do other steps, but this is just so easy to do right here. So you want to be looking for easy opportunities. So if I pick these uh, first two equations, I can eliminate one variable. Now, how can I eliminate one variable by adding? Okay, so remember. When dealing with uh, linear systems, one of the things you're allowed to do is what they call a linear combination. In other words, if you have 
uh, two equations, I can combine them and make a new equation that is perfectly, you know, fine in terms of that system. Okay. So again, this kind of goes to your understanding of two variable systems, but effectively what I'm going to do is just add down here. So I get X plus three X gives me four X Y plus negative Y is zero. Guess what? I just eliminated the Y here and I have negative Z plus three Z is 2z and 0 plus negative 2 is negative 2. So this is awesome because I just got rid of my y's, meaning I'm down I have a two variable uh, two variables here, right? I have x and z. So I'm like, "Oh wow, I remember how to solve a two variable linear system. I don't quite yet have a two variable linear system because I only have one equation." Okay? I need another equation, but I need another equation where uh, we will have eliminated the y. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick another um, a couple of equations from this system so we can eliminate y again. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do here, and you can see I'm going to take the first equation, okay, and I'm going to multiply it by negative 2, and I'm going to add it to this last equation. So the first two equations right here that we constructed, um, that would basically we got rid of the y here by adding down. What we have to do now is involve this other equation with uh, this one that we didn't use with one of these equations to eliminate the uh, y again. Okay, so hopefully kind of understand where I am going with this or understanding the procedure. Again, this is not a full complete lesson on it. So if you are confused, I'm going to reference you towards my pre-calculus course. I can really kind of break this down. But uh, let's go ahead and see this now. All right, so we saw how we were able, easily uh, able to eliminate y by just adding these two equations. So uh, this time, it's not too difficult to uh, eliminate y again. So I'm going to take negative 2 and multiply it by our first equation. So when I do that, okay, you can see the work right here. I have parentheses. Again, this should be very um, uh, common to those of you that uh, understand how to solve two variable systems. So you're allowed to multiply the entire system by whatever you want. I'm going to multiply by negative 2 because if I can get a negative 2y right here, when I add a negative 2y with a positive 2y, those y's are going to go away. But before I can do that, i got to multiply negative 2 by that first equation. So that gives me negative 2x, negative 2y, uh, this is a negative z, so this is going to be positive 2z, and negative 2 times 0 is 0. Okay, so now I'm going to use this equation. I'm going to add it to that last equation right there. So let's add down, and the whole reason I'm adding down is because I get rid of the y's again. So this is awesome. So negative 2x plus x is negative x. The y's go away, and I have positive 2z uh, minus 3z is negative z. 0 plus negative 1 is negative 1. And now look what I have here. I have uh, a, uh, an equation, negative x plus uh, negative z, or negative x minus z is equal to neg negative 1. This is a two-variable equation with x and z. And over here, remember, I have a two-variable equation with x and z. So I can take this equation, okay, and this equation right here, combine it together, into a lovely two-variable linear system, and here it is, okay? So this is uh, the equations that we had left over when we got rid of y, and so uh, this is a two-variable linear system. Again, so, uh, stuff that you should be able to, you know, something that you should be able to solve if you are a first-year algebra student, okay? All right, so we have x and z, two equations, so we're gonna go ahead and solve for x and z. You can use whatever method that you want, to do this, I will use the elimination method because I see these z's right here. If I can multiply, if I can get a 2z right here, I can add down. I can get rid of the z variables. Again, if, you, if you're not familiar with how to solve uh, two variable linear systems, this will be confusing, but let's go ahead and see those steps. So I want to multiply 2 by the second equation. When I do that, I get negative 2x, negative 2z, and then 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Now, the, again, this one I'm showing you here is a linear combination um, elimination method. Now I can add down in a column manner. So 4x plus negative 2x is 2x. 2z minus 2z is 0. The z's go away. That's great. Negative 2 plus negative 2 is negative 4. So I have 2x is equal to negative 4. So divide both sides of the equation by 2. I get x is equal to negative 2. And we're like, yes, awesome. Matter of fact, we're like, 
all right, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Well, that's not, uh, you should feel pretty good. That's a better equation. There, there you go. <laughs> You're like, yes, yes, I'm getting it. All right, so I got x is equal to negative 2. Now, this is going to be easy now So because we're going to take this answer to get our z variable. So remember, all I have to do is plug in what I just got for x, which is negative 2. We'll replace that x with negative 2 to solve for z. We can do this in any one of those equations. So 4 times negative 2 is negative 8, plus 2z is equal to negative 2. And let's go ahead and solve this equation for z. So we'll add uh, 8 to both sides of the equation. So we've got 2z is equal to, uh, 2z is equal to 6. Divide both sides of the equation by 2, I get z is equal to 3. And we're definitely feeling pretty good. We're like, yes, I'm getting this. Because now we have x, we have z, and all we're missing is y. Okay, well, how can we get y? Well, pretty easy. All we have to do is take any one of the equations from our original system. Remember, we have x, we have z now, so we can just replace uh, these variables with the actual solutions for x and z. Remember, whoa, 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 I'm kind of all over the place here. Let me kind of go down here. Okay, so here is x is equal to negative 2. We have that, right? So just to kind of keep everything in order. Uh, and z is equal to 3. So we can replace x and z with these solutions. So we'll replace x with negative 2, z with 3 because of the solution, and solve for y. So negative 2 plus y minus uh, 3. When we do all this work, y is equal to 5, right? Negative 2 plus a negative 3 is negative 5. Then move that to the other side is 5. Okay, so basically we had just solved for x, y, and z. And again, there is different approaches you could take. You could basically use the same approach. You can use a substitution met method. You can use the elimination method. Uh, you could even use, um, uh, you know, uh, matrices. You can use, there's different things you can do. And it can get, this can get rather complex. But this is a nice, easy approach. But what does this mean, though? What does, uh, you know, solving a three-variable linear system mean? graphically well this is another part of this problem that you need to understand so let me go ahead and show you that but first i'm going to show you this which is a request for you just to go ahead and not even think about it to hit that subscribe button i need your support if content like this you know if you're a math student and you're like yes mr youtube math man you're helping me out well the best way you can help me out is just simply hit that subscribe button and if you're going to do that you might as well hit that notification bell so you can get my latest videos as well and as a reminder, okay, we're going. I'm going through a lot of material pretty quickly, okay. So some of you might be, you know, like, you know, discouraged, You're like, I don't understand what this guy is talking about. It just seems so overwhelming. Well, don't feel that way, okay. Definitely do not feel that way. You, what you need to do is just know where your starting point is, right? You just have to build up your skills. Now, some of you might already know how to solve two variable systems, but if uh, you don't know how to solve, well then just start right here, okay? What is a system? What are the techniques? Master that and just build up your skills. There are no shortcuts, but if you, uh, what you really need is detailed, comprehensive, well-explained lessons and demonstrated prompts. This is the way you truly learn math, okay? I can go through this problem in two minutes, but most people will be like, okay, I didn't really understand what you just did. But anyways, um, if you need help beyond this little tutorial, check out my full pre-calculus course. I'll teach you everything you need to know about systems and more. Okay, so let's go to talk about what this means graphically. Before I do that real quick, let me just show you real quick. If we had a two-variable linear system, I'm just making something up, and this may not be uh, the actual answer. I'm just uh, showing you here real quick. Okay, two-variable linear system. Now, remember, a two-variable linear equation is effectively a line okay this is a line we'll call this line one and this would be like line two in other words we could graph these lines on the x y plane so let me just kind of real quick draw a little x and y and if i was to graph these lines these respective lines like so what i'm looking for um, is the intersection of these two points graphically where these two lines cross if i was to graph them the xy point is in fact the solution okay that order pair is a solution to a linear system now a linear system does not have to have a solution because you can have 
uh, two lines that are parallel to one another, right? So if I have uh, two linear equations in a system and they're parallel to one another, they will never cross. So a system like this will have no solution. So there's a lot here to know, okay? But basically what I want you to understand is that uh, two variables is two dimensional, okay? In other words, well, basically, you know, we have length and width or whatever you want, you know, you kind of want to think about, it, but you're talking about lines here, okay, on an X, Y plane, okay? So the a system represents a line, okay? And the solution is the point uh, where uh, those two lines cross, okay? And of course, there is a technique called the graphing technique where you just literally graph the lines in your system and then look to see where they cross. And if you can determine that point, well, you have solved the system. But what does a three variable linear system, what does that represent? You should know this, this is important. So here is our system right here. This is what we solved and here is our answers. So instead of an XY uh, ordered point or ordered pair, uh, XY coordinate, uh, that represents um, the solution to a two variable system. What we have here is an X, Y, Z ordered triple. Okay, an X, Y, Z ordered triple. So some of you might be confused about that. But what does that mean? Well, here it is. And this would be really the most appropriate way to describe the solution to this equation. So an ordered triple is not a point just on the X, Y ordered plane. What we have here, instead of the X and Y axis like this, here's X and here is Y, we have another axis uh, called Z. So now we're talking about three-dimensional stuff here, which is awesome. So this, uh, the solution to this system, okay, we have, uh, again, these three uh, variable linear systems. These are planes, okay? Effectively, this would represent a plane like a kind of think of it like a piece of paper or something like you know kind of going through like this and maybe another piece of paper like that and then they would intersect right there so again you know we are talking you know more advanced math but you need to conceptually understand what's going on here so an ordered triple represents a point in three-dimensional space so this particular point would be located at negative two five and three okay so this is also part of what you would need to understand at this level of math but again don't be discouraged because math is fantastic you can do this stuff okay for sure you can all right and if you didn't get this right you know don't feel bad at all okay just we got to figure out where your starting points at but uh you know the one thing i always um kind of emphasize in my videos on youtube is that there are no shortcuts in math and most uh, students who get who struggle in math what I have found through my decades of experience is people just don't want to put in the time. They're like, oh, let me just quickly, I don't have time to learn it. You know, I'll learn it if I can understand it in five minutes. No, it's not going to work that way. Even <laughs> There's just too much information. Even if you are brilliant in mathematics, it doesn't, it's not going to work that way. There's just too much information, too many skills. So you got to make sure you have that work ethic, that academic commitment to learn the subject. But if you have that, then you need great instruction. And that's where I want to help you out. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.